Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the stream with more Virtue's Last Reward. If you remember, we left off in a puzzle room where a bunch of what appeared to be Snatchers came down from the ceiling, and Alice was also very shocked about that this was happening. So I guess we have to find out what is going to happen next and how we have to get out of this puzzle room. Mm-hmm, that's right. Signs Boy is on the table. And now more of them have come down from the ceiling. Okay, I guess it's just going to bring us right back to the puzzle. Let's take a look at these. One of them is wearing underwear. That's probably important, I'm gonna guess. It's a, it's a modest robot, Luna. Not all of them are exhibitionists. Yes, Luna, like a diary. That's quite a, uh, it's quite a queenly proclamation for one to remove one's underwear. Let's just see if we can take them off. Alice is very take charge in this matter of removing underwear. Okay, there was nothing under them. Can we look at the boxers and try to determine what might be special about them? Yes, obviously Zero put these here for a reason. And that reason is to, is to wear them, or to wipe something. I can think of something that we've seen before that we might be able to wipe up with some, some cloth of some kind. Yes, Alice, and then I was thinking of putting them on. What do you think of that? What does that mean? It's on there pretty good. It's oil. <laughs> oh, well, we happen to have that. Or maybe I should mix it with the boxing the boxers. Yeah, okay, let's mix them together. This was the most logical combination of all items. Let's assume it's upside down. And what does that say? 1, 2, O, V? Yes. Okay, now we have not seen anything I think that we could use that information with. Do we still have the... Okay, no. We do not have the boxers, so the oil-soaked boxers are not actually an item that we'll need to use with anything. What we needed was the information. Okay. Anything else special about these robots? we should know? Oh. Is that... That one holding something? I think that one is holding... Yes, it's holding a red battery. What does that say? Uh, 
Okay, we happen to have a thin electronic device. No, that does not work. Just to try it. No, that does not work. And neither does that. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way. Let's keep looking around. Screw oh, screwdriver first. I should use the screwdriver to open it up. Well, that would make sense, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, okay, and we actually need both batteries for this, okay. Strange, it, I, come to think of it, I did not think at all about turning it around and looking at the back of it. How unthorough of me. Those batteries are in. Okay, now what can we do with this? Okay, that's kind of a... okay. There's quite a few characters in that password. I don't think we got anything that would... Okay, no, we already used that. Uh, that... Well, that we located the point uh, where the oil was, but aside from that, I don't think this really did anything for us. V, we still don't know. It didn't seem like there was anything there where it says V. Then we had this. And I suppose these are the letters that we're going to use to determine what the password is. Uh, but what order might they be in? I guess this is going to tell us somehow. Try checking V now that the Snatchers are out. Yep, we'll go back there and see if anything has appeared. And now that these snatchers have come down, V was... Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. So I guess we have to make sure that it goes up to a total of 120. Starting from... Okay, starting from the middle left. Is that, is that going to the middle right, I guess? Let's see. I just want to see where this ends, just to make sure. Okay, I can't tell. I'm assuming that goes to the middle right. Alright, so we have to get 120. Let's see. So that gave us 105. Alright, that gives us 70. We don't want to get that 100. That'll give us 75. Hmm, yeah. Okay, oh, maybe just going to the right-hand side. Okay, it's anywhere on the left to anywhere on the right. All right, so it's not just the middle, okay. So that gives us some more opportunities. So this was 150, which was too high anywhere, anyway. Okay, yeah, it is anywhere on the left. Okay, so 30. Get 65, 105, 110, 110. Okay, so maybe... Seventy, one ten, no. Okay, so I don't want to get the sixty. I think, I think I want to get the thirty, ten, forty-five, and thirty-five. 
Let's see. Or could I ignore the 5 and the 30 by getting 35? Nomad, you're suggesting 35, 35, 10, 40? Let's see if that could work. Okay. Hmm. Could we get the upper left 35? Okay. No, we, we, it would go through the 10. Okay, yeah. Hmm, but could we do that? Without going through, hmm. Okay. Can you replace the numbers? What, you mean change the numbers with other numbers? No, I think those are fixed. It doesn't seem that by hitting them I can change them with anything else. So let's see, 45... I'm just going over this in my mind. I could see which numbers we need, just thinking about how to get to them. There we go. Let's hit that button. Oh, okay. We don't actually need to hit the button on this thing. So, let's head back to that console that had the button that we couldn't do anything with. The big red button that Luna just couldn't resist pressing last time, if we remember. To Alice's chagrin. But it seems that no one has any problem with us pressing it now. Now there's actual power, what will it do? Did, did it do anything? Oh, evil red eyes, they are snatchers. Okay, let's see. So some of them have one eye lit up and some of them have nothing. And some of them have two. It looks like we're not getting any descriptions about these other than some of them have eyes lit up and some of them have both eyes lit up. It doesn't mention left or right, it just mentions one eye. So let's go back to this poster. We also know this rough sketch of the room, it has those 12 circles that are where the snatchers are standing. So, on the map, the first one in the upper left would be this one here. So, there are two letters in each of the circles on the poster. So, that one has the... So, I guess we're saying that it's going to be the right letter of the first circle. Is that how this puzzle works? So I'm gonna have to get out the memo then. We're gonna have to erase this mess. Remember this with that drinks puzzle. It's the last time we used the notebook, I guess. All right, let's get this out. And I guess we're saying that it's gonna be B for the first one. Then the second one, there's nothing lit, no lit up. So I guess nothing there. The third one is both lit up. So we have B so far. Boop. Boop. 
get over here, we have right, left, yeah, yeah, right, left, left. So right, left, beacon. Not bacon, it's beacon. Maybe the second word will have something to do with bacon, but no, the first one is beacon. Okay, now for this one, I'm guessing we're starting over on this side of it. I should be looking at which are off, not on. Are you sure about that? That seems like an odd puzzle. Well, let's see what this one would say if we pay attention to the ones that are lit up. So I'm guessing we're starting over here. Hmm. Because these would be on the bottom, the right-hand side would be starting at left. I should be looking at both both on and off. All right, let's just try on right now. Hmm. So this one would... I'm not sure if this one would be reversed. One is for each code? Probably. That seems that it seems like something VLR might do. I'm just trying to think about if this one would be reversed. Should I be, like, say on the one on the right? Like, should I be starting from here or should I be starting from over here? Just start at the left. Maybe that's how we do it. All right, we'll try it like that. Start at the left. Okay, so we have both. We have right. We have right. So we have both. We have right. No, that's... Looks like a P. Let's write F. Right, and we have right. Osfin. Well, that doesn't look like it says anything. So... That doesn't seem like a word. Okay, so that's off, and then... We have left, and we have right. Let's see, whoops, no. Let's see what this says if we write it out. We have nothing. Oops. Hmm. You want to go right to left for this one? Yeah, it doesn't really look like that's anything. So if that was backwards, what would that be? It would be E-O-N-F-S-O. Eons so. I mean, that still doesn't say anything. So, I mean, if that was the case, maybe... Hmm. So... Let me just think about it like I was thinking about it the first time. So maybe let me reverse these eyes. So let's say that's left, that's right, and that's nothing. And see what happens if we do it like that. So let's see. Left. Right. And then nothing. Beacon of. Okay, so that looks so far more, more of an actual word. Okay, so then we would say... Let's see. Left, left, both. So then skip and then left, left, and both. Okay, that looks like an actual word. Okay, so I think we have it now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Well, that's, uh, that screen looks green, and we could probably... Yep, that's what that means. Alright, now, someone mentioned, someone said something about we should look at the eyes that are not lit up. 
We could try that. Maybe that'll end up being the other password. Okay. So if we were looking at the eyes that are not lit up, what would happen? We would have left, both, nothing. So... So we would have left, both, and then nothing. So we have Rem. And then we would have left, right, right. So we would have left, right, right. Ramini? That doesn't sound like it's a thing. Subtract, just subtract Beacon of Hope. Yeah, I mean, that. Yeah, I guess we could just do it like that, couldn't we? Okay. Okay, so if I was to subtract all the letters that made a Beacon of Hope, it would be R. Well, I don't know which circles actually had the letters that we were looking at. Though, because some of them have the same letters in them. Okay, so B. So I guess it would be. Yeah, that was the same word that we had. Then the. So, oh, Ramini is correct? That is what that's supposed to be? Okay. Ramini sense. Oh, Reminiscence. Okay. It actually did spell something. And Sigma knew it all along. I guess Sigma's getting accustomed to these gold passwords. Okay. So let's head, oh, head back over the signs, boy, because the safe was right below him. Okay. Okay, let's use blue star star sun. Yep. Oh, there was actually something else here. All right, what did that do, I wonder? It seems like we solved the room, so I'm not sure what that was. Alice reluctantly giving us praise. Well, I don't know. We, it seems like we've made a good team, even though we've had our problems with Alice before. This, uh, this trio seemed to work well together. Now, let's see. We want green. So, moon, star, sun.
Right, once again, we pull out the map to the next area, as we always do. Did Clover gain the hate that we used to have for Alice? I think maybe she did. I think maybe uh, Clover is the one that we we kind of don't like now. I mean, we had problems with Alice back at the beginning because she chose Betray and we had that argument with her. But, I mean, in these other paths, she seems alright. We haven't really had any issues with her since then. <laughs> You can't find where previous broadcasts are saved on Instagib. As far as I can tell, they're not. I have not noticed any saved videos. It doesn't look like they archive anything. Okay, these rules, yep, we have already seen them multiple times. Every time we have done a path so far, so this is nothing new. Oh, there are archives, but only to the broadcaster? Okay. Oh, there was actually something new in there? So many rules to this nonary game. Hmm, a plug or a key? Insert it into something. Something like an antimatter bomb? Something like that? I, hmm, I don't know. Or maybe K's key, that's true. That kind of looks like it might be K's key. It's, it is shaped like the circle on the back of his head. Okay, and as usual, we find the key out of the room. Well, we should take it with us. We're we take everything else with us. Look, Alice, we took boxer shorts with us off a robot. We're not above taking this thing with us. Come on now. Do we know about the antimatter bomb in this timeline? Uh, no, not yet. At least it's only shown up in one timeline. And nothing's been mentioned of it yet. Okay, here's the exit. What? I'm sorry, was someone just doing an old English impression? I think, yeah, I think that was Luna's voice. It sounded like it. No. You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi, over here. Sigma, look. What is that? Oh dear. Oh, blimey, that hurts. Alright, I think we're being introduced to a new character? Um, huh. Well, I did not expect that. It looks like we have something else to do before we can actually leave this room and, uh, continue on with the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition. But I guess we'll be doing that in a few minutes. Be right back and we'll see what this gentlemen is all about.